Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to go over the actual best ball player build. I know I already made a couple of videos of this before, but this is the guy that I'm going to stick with for the rest of the year. Um, he's a contact archetype, different from my power archetypes in my previous videos, but this is the most meta and OP ball player you're going to find. Um, so let's get into the video, guys. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm a 94 overall. Um, my cap's 94 overall. Um, and let's get into the loadout here, okay? So we're definitely a contact build this time. I think contact build, now that I've done it again, I made a different guy, is the most OP by far. Um, I love this build. You have amazing contact, amazing power, and amazing everything, honestly. So once you grind to the top, again, you're going to have the diamond archetype. Um, and for that diamond archetype, you want to use the tool shed. I think the tool shed is the best one. You have the tool shed, the spoke, and the dart. Uh, the tool shed is by far the best one. Um... If you want to look at your attributes here, you pretty much have 125 both sides contact and about 115 power both sides. You also have um, like silver fielding and you have about 78 speed as well. So, I mean, this build is pretty awesome, man. Um, it is a really good build. Um, let's get into my appearance, though. Um, so for the appearance, I'm six foot. I think six foot's a really good height. Um, you know, not too short, not too tall to make the strike zone really hard to reach some pitches. Um, and yeah, I also, I made a first baseman. I think that's probably the easiest way to get your ball player up. Um, it's pretty, it's just mindless, mindless fielding stuff. You'll just go cover first most of the time. And that's all you have to do. And you get fielding progress towards that. Um, so for my swing as right now, I use Adalberto Mondesi swing. I personally really like that swing, but like I always say, uh, pick the swing that you're most comfortable with. I would take the guy that you with the best with. I don't even care if he's on a switch hitter or not and put him on your cap. And speaking of that, um, your cap needs to be a switch hitter. I mean, it, it's a must. If he's not a switch hitter, you're doing it wrong. Um, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. He has to be a switch hitter. It's the best way you can do it. Um, throw hand, doesn't matter. Um, but again, I think six foot's the perfect height. Um, it'll really get your guy a really nice strike zone, really be able to hit, reach a lot of pitches, and it feels the most comfortable for me. Um, I would say you can probably go up or down either way, like one or two inches, like maybe six one, six two, or 5'11", 5'10". Um, now let's get into the equipment that I have for this guy. Um, let me make sure I get back on the right one here. Um, okay. All my stuff just went away. There it is. All right. But the equipment for this guy. So I have the just gold Oakley's or the gold Under Armour's, uh, nothing crazy there, but I do have a lot of good equipment that I've gotten for free from just grinding your ball player, which is a must that you need to do. Um, compression sleeve again just a gold 44 one on um, the ritual item now this is the best one in the game the legendary call it gives plus eight power and plus eight contact um there's nothing better than this one uh you need it if you can get it buy it it costs about 45k i think it's pretty expensive but it is amazing what it does i mean plus eight power plus eight contact you can't beat that wrist guard this doesn't really matter honestly i just use a silver one um i do the trout 2.0 gloves again i pulled this out of diamond equipment pack for free from grinding my player um plus x contact plus five power again really useful back grip if you do the jackie robinson uh program you get a free jackie robinson back grip which gives you plus four contact plus four power so go do that if you already haven't which i'm sure you probably have but if you haven't go do it um the bat the show tiny bat is still the best one um if you could, as you can see plus eight plus eight um it's the best one still and if you don't if you don't have the show tiny bat um use any one that gives you plus seven or plus six that you have um they're all good for the socks also jackie robinson go do the program you get free socks plus six speed plus eight steel really useful really good um it's a must for my cleats i have these asic ones uh, i also pulled these for free out of my diamond equipment packs uh plus 14 speed plus 10 steel plus eight reaction i mean you need them uh so go grind your guy get these guys shin guards don't really matter leg guards don't matter unless your guy's a catcher and then fielding glove, I also pulled this one for free again. Uh, plus 12 fielding, plus 6 arm, plus 6 uh, accuracy. Um, diamond glove, I think it only goes for about 14, 15K um, if you want to get it. And I would use that as well. Elbow guard, again, doesn't really matter. I pulled a gold one, so I used the gold one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So guys, I think the contact one, like I said, is by far the best archetype you can have. Um, I don't know why I switched to spoke, but it's the best archetype you can have. It's amazing. Uh, actually, let, let me get into a game here, like a, a play CPU game, and just show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So as you can see here, if you look at this ball player, my speed's not maxed out yet, but it's at 74. But it has one 
20 pretty much both sides contact and 119 power right and 111 power left and i haven't maxed out the power left yet i still can get it up to about 120 as well um also 77 fielding which is really good i mean my guy's playing first at silver fielding close to gold almost with an 83 arm i mean guys i don't see how you get a better build than this all around it's the best build it's it's amazing your pci is massive no matter what difficulty you play on i think this is the build that you need to use it's a must and if you guys like this video man like it for me hit that subscribe button and hit that noti bell so you know when my videos go live and i'll see you guys next time peace out